Hello Cadizy learners! We're going to explain Calvin's experiment for 8 marks. For explain we need to say what, say why, and say how. The what <laughs> is what did he do or what did he prove? So the what was that he showed carbon fixation of CO2 occurred in plants and where it occurred and proved the order of substances that occurred and also that carbon fixation was actually light independent. So how did he do it? Well, I'm sure by now you've heard of Calvin's lollipop experiment. He filled a narrow piece of glass with chlorella, an algae, and he gave them all the ingredients they needed to photosynthesize, air full of CO2, and then he shone light on them. And then intermittently, he introduced carbon-14, a radioactive form of carbon that he could trace. So he knew the flow of carbon through the chlorella. He added a tap to his system and periodically took out a sample. And over time, he built up a picture every five seconds of the journey of the carbon through the chlorella in terms of the molecules that it was made from. In order to stop it photosynthesizing when he was doing the experiment, he killed the chlorella as it came out in the sample. And he used methanol for that. Okay, now to find out what molecules he was looking at in each sample over time. He used two-way chromatography. Now you've done one-way chromatography with chlorophyll extraction. So he put a dot of his sample on some chromatography paper and he put that in a solvent and the solvent moved up through the paper and transported the molecule and separated it out into components based on their size. So if you can remember, the smaller molecules went further and the larger ones didn't go as far. He then turned the page over, this is the two-way chromatography part, put it in a different solvent and separated the mixture again. That, this was quite a genius method for those times and it was building up a map of a story of a timeline. Some of those molecules were radioactive by the carbon. The next step was autoradiography where you place an x-ray film over the top of the chromatography paper and you blot it. You pick up the radioactively labelled carbon-14. It took about two weeks for it to develop. He could see from these results which molecules ended up where over time. What was their journey and how many carbons made up each molecule on the blotting paper. From these results, he found that carbon fixation occurs to RUBP, that the first molecule to appear in high amounts is G3P, followed by TP, triose phosphate. And therefore, the Calvin cycle was born. And the thing that you draw today, which involves RUBP, carbon fixation or carboxylation using Rubisco, to form G3P, which is two three carbon molecules, and forms TP, another three carbon molecule, and gets recycled around into RUBP again. I like to think of Melvin Kelvin at this point cycling off to tell his friends that he just discovered how those massive trees, the redwood trees, can grow so tall and fix so much carbon from the atmosphere, a gas, and turn it into wood, and cellulose, and starch, and sucrose. An absolute wonder of nature, and one which we rely on for our life. Another pretty complex system, but did we nail it for you? Get in touch, let us know in the comments below, or email us at learnatkadizi.com. I hope we made it easy.